Hey, Math 10 class. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, talking about mass, and we're going to be talking about the system de l'Internationale, uh, which is the essentially the metric system and the system that uh, Canadians use. Um, so first off, uh, a couple of important things that we need to know is that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, and there are 1,000 milligrams in uh, a gram. And for a ton, there are 1,000 kilograms in a ton. Now, I have written here as a note that says, a ton, T-O-N-N-E, is not the same as the previous ton that we studied before. So this ton right here is what we call a metric ton, and it's spelt a little bit differently, T-O-N-N-E. So there are, um, this is a metric ton, okay? Before this ton that we studied previously, and we said that there's 2,000 pounds in this ton right here, this is your imperial ton. And this is what the Americans use. So there are a few different uh, differences between um, imperial and SI. So <clears throat> first I have a question right here. We have four boxes of apples and they weigh uh, 1550 grams, 1675, 1735 and 1900 grams. And the truck weighs 2.1 tons. What is the total weight in kilograms? Since we have our conversions thing right up here, uh, we're gonna convert everything into uh, kilograms. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add up all of these numbers right here. So I'm just gonna, I have my calculator right here, 1550 uh, plus 1675 plus 1735 plus 1900. And I get 6,860 grams, okay? So I'm gonna convert this right here into kilograms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place 6,860 grams, right like that. I want grams to go away, so I'm gonna place it, grams is on the bottom, and I'm gonna put kilograms on the top. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my conversion chart right here and it says one kilogram so I'm going to place a one next to the kilogram is equal to a thousand grams now when I could do this grams are going to cancel out and I'm left with just kilograms left over so 6860 times one divided by a thousand is 6.86 kilograms Okay, so I have this right here. That's how my uh, how all, how much these boxes of apples weigh: six point eight six kilograms. Now I need to figure out how much the truck weighs. So the truck says uh, two point one zero tons. Okay, <clears throat> so now I have two point one zero tons, and I know that my conversion unit is one ton equals a thousand kilograms. So I want tons to go away. So I'm gonna be placing tons on the bottom and uh, kilograms on the top. My conversion unit says that there are a thousand kilograms is equal to one ton. I put the tons here so that tons on the top right here will cancel out with the one that's on the bottom. Since they cancel out, that just leaves kilograms left over. 2.1 times 1,000 is 2,100, okay? And then the unit that's left over is kilograms. So it wants to know the total weight. Um, and so we're just gonna take these two numbers. We're gonna add them together. So the, the four very small boxes of apples is nothing compared to the truck. But anyways, it says that, so it's 
0.86 kilograms. I just added these two numbers up and that's my answer. Okay. So let's take a look at the next question. So in this one, it says Leslie is baking apple pies. According to her recipe, she needs six pounds of apples. The bag of apples she bought, spelling error, only shows kilograms. How many kilograms of apples does she need? Um, so in other words, she needs six pounds of apples and uh, we need to figure out uh, how many kilograms that is. So I'm gonna go, um, first I'm just gonna pull up my uh, conversion chart. So you should have had a conversion chart handed out to you last class. Um, and so on that conversion chart, what we're looking for is something that says kilograms to pounds. And so we look on our conversion chart and we see there it is right there. Kilograms to pounds. So one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So again, I'm going to go six pounds and the symbol for pounds is LBS. Okay. So six pounds and I want pounds to go away. So I'm going to put pounds on the bottom. So I put LBS right there and I want kilograms. So I'm going to put kg on the top. So it says on my unit conversion right here, that one kg is equal to 2.2 pounds. Okay. Same thing as before pounds cancels out and we're left with just kilograms. So I go six divided by 2.2, six, six divided by 2.2 and I get uh, 2.72. 2.727272, or in other words, we could just round that up to 2.73 uh, kilograms. Okay. I think right now is a good spot to try putting the video on pause and try doing some of the other questions, and then you can unpause the video uh, once you get to this next question. Okay, so you can uh, unpause the video for this one right here. Okay, so hopefully you had no problems with those other uh, one, two, three kind of questions. So this one I wanted to do with the class because it's a little bit more kind of uh, tricky. It says Genoa salami sells for $1.79 per 100 grams at the deli. How much will 350 grams cost? This right here, this right here is actually a unit conversion. It, what it's saying here is that a dollar seventy nine will get you. Sorry, a dollar seventy nine will get you, or in other words, will be equal to one hundred grams of the salami. Okay, it's a unit conversion. So if I want to know how much will three hundred fifty grams cost? I just simply use the unit conversion and go 350 grams times by, I want the grams to go away because I only want to know the cost. So I want the grams to go away. So again, I put the grams, grams right here is on the top. So I put the grams right here is on the bottom and I go 179 is equal to 100 grams. Now, same thing is that grams are going to cancel out. And then we're left with, we're going to be just left with dollars. So what I'm going to do in my calculator is I take 350 times 1.79 divided by 100. And I get 6. 6.265. Uh, or you can say six dollars and twenty seven cents. Okay. So the next one, it says, what is the price per kilogram? 
Okay, so we know that the other unit conversion, if we pulled up our unit conversion sheet from the previous slides, uh, it says 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. We also know that it's uh, $1.79 for 100 grams. So I'm going to write that again. It's $1.79 nine for 100 grams. Now, I don't want to know what it is per 100 grams. I want to know what it is per kilogram. So what it is is that I want that to go away. I want the grams to go away. So right now, this is a little bit tricky, but grams is on the bottom. So if I want it to cancel out, I need to put grams on the top. Like that. Okay. And so I'm going to put kilograms on the bottom because the ultimate unit that I want is price over kilograms. And if I cancel grams, grams cancels with grams, I'm left with, I'm left with dollars over kilograms. And, and that's what my, my goal is, is to have dollars over kilograms. So I want these grams to cancel out. So I did that, and so I'm going to plug in my numbers that are associated with this. I'm going to switch back to the red pen. So I'm going to go 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram, like that. Grams cancels out again. And so in my calculator, it's going to be 1.79, 1.79 divided by 100 times by 1,000. And then divide by one, but you don't have to do that part. And so what you get is you get 17.9 dollars per kilogram. Now what that means 17.9 is 17.90 or $17.90 per kilogram. Okay. So that is the price per kilogram. Okay, here's the last one right here. It is another imperial system to metric system kind of question. So uh, it's best to bring up our data sheet. So I took a little screenshot of the data sheet right here and we can see some of these things in there. So the first question says, the recipe calls for 180 grams of flour. How much is this in ounces? So I need to find the uh, grams to ounces and I found it right here okay so I found the grams to ounces and it says one ounce is equal to 28.35 grams approximately so I'm gonna write my little conversion right here uh, one ounce is equal to 28.35 grams so I have 180 grams again i want grams to go away so it's on the top right now so i'm going to put grams on the bottom okay and i'm going to put ounces on the top and then the number that i write next to the ounces right here is just the number that is next to the ounces the number that i write next to the grams right here is just going to be uh, the number that is next to the grams right here so I write one ounce right there and 28.35 grams right there. So I cancel out my grams and I'm just left with ounces. And that's what the question wanted. So I go 180, 180 times one, you don't have to do that part, but times one and then divided by 28.35 and I got 6.349 or I'm going to round that up to 6.35. Okay. <clears throat> I got another question right here and it says, 
Uh, a baby weighs seven pounds, 12 ounces at birth. How much does it weigh in grams? Now, this one's a little bit kind of weird, but um, uh, in the American system, they will often report in pounds and ounces. But if you wanna do a conversion, you're gonna to have to choose one. Pick pounds or pick ounces, but don't leave it as both, okay? So I'm not sure which one you wanna choose. I'm going to choose pounds. I'll do the answer in ounces too, just to show you that it gives you the same number, uh, but I'm just gonna pick pounds. So I need to convert this 12 ounces into pounds. And I know that there are 16 ounces in one pound. So in order to convert these 12 ounces to a pound, I'm going to divide 12 divided by 16. So I do that and I get 0.75. So this baby weighs, you can say seven pounds and 12 ounces, or you can say 7.75 pounds. Okay. So I now have the baby's weight it's 7.75 pounds. Uh, I'm now going to use uh, my pounds to grams conversion because I have pounds and I want grams. And so here is my pounds to grams uh, conversion right here. So I want pounds to go away. So I'm going to put pounds on the bottom. LBS on the bottom. One and that is equal to 454 grams right there. Okay, so I now go 7.75 times 454. And I get 3,518.5 grams. Okay, so that's how I went from pounds to grams. Now let's imagine you decided not to do that and you wanted to convert everything into ounces. You're dealing with a few bigger numbers, but it's very, very doable. So first off, we have seven pounds, 12 ounces. So I'm gonna convert these seven pounds into ounces. So I'm gonna go seven times 16. Okay, and so this is going to be 112, 112. And so now I need to add it to that other 12. So if I add that to the other 12, I get 124. So I have 124 ounces. So remember 124 ounces is the same as saying a seven pound, 12 ounce baby. So 124 ounces. And I'm going to times that by, now since I'm in ounces, I have to use my ounce to grams. So I want ounces to go away. So I'm going to go one ounce, because now ounces can cancel, is equal to 28.35 grams. And so now I go 124 times 28.35. And I get 3,515.4 grams. Now, there is a small discrepancy of uh, 3.1 grams. And 3.1 grams is not that big of a deal. Um, but it is a small discrepancy and it's a uh, emphasis on this symbol right here. Okay. So if you look at this symbol, this one just goes perfectly straight across equals. And if you look at these symbols right here, it's kind of a wavy equal like that. And what that means is that it's roughly 2.2 pounds is equal to a kilogram. One pound is roughly equal to 454 grams, and one ounce is roughly equal to 28.35 grams. There are some more decimal places that go along with it, and so therefore, it's not exact, okay?
Anyways, try doing the rest of the questions and hopefully that makes sense.